somewhere in the Black Mountain Hills of Dakota, there was a young boy named Rocky Raccoon. Rocket. Raccoon. Rocket. Not Rocky. That's the Beatles song he's named after. Well, I have wasted a lot of time on some very specific research. In fact, it's just Rocket. Despite his startling resemblance to the resourceful dumpster diving mammal, Rocket originates from the alien planet Halfworld, which served as an asylum for the criminally insane ruled over by alien humanoids. Along with many of Halfworld's cutesy inhabitants, Rocket was subjected to cyber genetic modifications by his overlords. All with the purpose of being Halfworld's warden. Ranger Rocket. Rocket's mutations make him smarter, stronger, faster, and tougher than your average garbage goblin. His cybernetic skeleton is connected to artificial vertebrae and neural implants, allowing him to dodge gunfire and laser beams, survive an explosion the size of a city block, and keep up with supervillains like Craven and Venom. Alongside pals Lila the Otter and Walrus the... Yeah. Rocket battled the mercenary Blackjack O'Hare and killer clowns and saved the day time and time again. I bet you're wondering what the hell this has to do with Guardians of the Galaxy. In a convoluted editorial effort to reboot his character, Rocket left Halfworld to become a mercenary and had his memories suppressed. After a betrayal by his otter lover, a different one, he has a thing for otters, Rocket was sent to jail. Space jail. And prison changes a man. Gun was the Saturday morning cartoon character of yore. He was a felon, cynical and hardened by the criminal justice system. The space criminal justice system. Rocket suffered not only from his penal servitude, but the trauma of his brutal genetic modifications and a lingering sense of alienation. It was in this personal hell where he'd meet a bunch of a-holes who would soon be his new teammates. Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax, and of course, his best pal Groot. And together they were the Guardians of the Galaxy, defending the free peoples of the cosmos from all manner of alien menace. For a price, of course. So, uh, like, how does he understand Groot language? That's Talunazin, and he just picked it up over time. It's actually a beautiful language. All I know are the swear words. Hey, Wiz, I am Groot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch your tongue there. What did I say? No, you really don't want to know. It's, like, really, really bad. I think I might have to get HR uh, in here. I I'm sorry. Well, well, while I teach Boomstick some more vocabulary, God knows he needs it, come back next week for the full episode of Stitch vs. Rocket Raccoon. Please don't space cancel me! Hey, uh, Wiz, did you know that I can blow up a galaxy? What? How? I signed up for a Death Battle YouTube membership by clicking the Join button on any Death Battle video or the YouTube channel. You can pick from three different tiers full of extra goodies. Base form champions get special badges, emojis, live chats, and the Death Battle Discord. Right. If you go with planet level, you can watch all sorts of exclusive videos and see Death Battle before anyone else. Then there's galaxy level, which nets you all of that, a whole Rooster Teeth First membership, and the power of ultimate destruction! Can't confirm or deny that last part, but it sure sounds impressive. What are you waiting for? Join now to become a champion.